Hello and welcome to English coaching class. I am your English teacher, Shahid Ashikur Rahman. Students, I hope everyone will be in good state, good mood. Students, in our last class, we have discussed the introduction of the portrait of lady by Kushwan Singh. This, that was my first video for class 11. Today, I'll be going line wise explanation of the chapter, the portrait of lady. So students, let me bring the screen in front of you. Before bringing the screen, the chapter screen, should just, I want that uh, my recall, my, what we can say students, that the tradition we follow it. Just don't forget to subscribe my channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the thumbs up to my videos and do press bell icon when I'll be uploading the videos, you can get it directly. So just my new users, when you're watching my channel, do press bell icon, do subscribe, do subscribe. Okay, students? So let, let me bring the page in front of you. Just hold on your nerves and we will go in details with the chapter. Yeah, here is on your screen the chapter name. The Portrait of Lady by Kushun Singh. So I have already shared in the last class and the introduction class rooms. This is a biography, a autobiography by Kushwan Singh. By Kushwan Singh, this is an autobiography. And in our last class, we have discussed the vocabulary about the author, about the author and about the title, the important values, everything, theme point, moral point, everything we have discussed. Today, students, we will begin the line wise explanation of the text. Okay, we'll begin the line wise explanation of the text. From the beginning, I'll just go, I'll do the explanation, students. So let's start. My grandmother, the, the poet, uh, the writer, the Kushan Singh is talking like my grandmother in a very personal tone, like everybody's grandmother. Okay, like your grandmother, my grandmother, everybody's grandmother was an old woman means grand means something big and when it is grand big means old means it's mother big it means grand something big means it's directly connecting to the old okay students and it does not symbolize that the giant like structure the big okay so that's why whenever we talk about the grandmother we have the structure the image formation something like old lady the old woman that will be framing in our mind not a young one not a young girl okay so here the same one as everyone was having the what old woman the old man the old uh, woman old man that is grandmother grandfather similarly my grandmother is the same she had been old and wrinkled for 20 years that I had known her. People said that she had once been young and pretty, had even had a husband. Okay, so how is she? She had been old and wrinkled. She was old and wrinkled, hanging face, wrinkled when people become old. What happened? The skin becomes shabby, hanging. And this kind of skin, this kind of expression, she has marked to the grandmother for last 20 years that I had known. Means from last 20 years, the one is having the same expression, same look, no change. You can understand students, one has reached the maximum level of growth. One is reached the maximum level of growth. He's not growing. He has reached the same day, same state. Some, what is going to happen after that? Of means death. Okay, maximum growth. There's no growth after that line. Uh, similarly, we can see he's observing the grandmother from the very day and she has reached the maximum age, that is, and in the maximum old age. People said she had once been young and pretty. So it was difficult for him to accept. Okay, so she had once been young and pretty and had even a husband. So this was very difficult means once she was young, and having a husband looks like absent, but that was hard to believe. My grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room. He wore a turban. Okay, so where is the portrait? It hung in the above the mantelpiece. Means there is a uh, we can say the marble piece where it's kept. The above that in the drawing room, the portrait is hanging. Whose portrait? The grandfather's portrait. Grandfather's portrait is hanging. 
Okay, how is he the grandfather looking? He wore a big turban, like Punjabis are wearing turban on their head. Similarly, the old man, the man was wearing, the grandfather was wearing a big turban and loose fitting clothes. His long white beard, okay, he is having white beard, long, Punjabis do have the long beard, okay. And uh, white beard cover the best part of the chest, means that it's too long that has covered the, the means what? Part of the chest, okay. And he looked at least a hundred year old, means having beard and looks, look the, uh, the expression, facial expression changed soon. And looking to the same one, here the same thing happening, the facial expression has changed. Okay, the, and, and one will think that as if the grandfather has become so grand, means so old that as if he is looking 100 years old. He did not look the sort of person who would have a wife or children. So he's looking like that as if he's not having a wife or children. He looked as if he would only have lots and lots of grandchildren. So he's reaching the such age that he would be having only grandchildren, no, no children. So he looked as if he could have only lots and lots of grandchildren. As for my grandmother being young and pretty, the thought was almost revolting. Almost revolting. Students have already explained here what is happening here. The being young and pretty means this thought means once grandmother was being young and pretty, this thought was almost revolting. Means this thought was not acceptable by the grandmother. So by the uh, grandson. Okay, when once grandmother used to be young and pretty, looks very pretty. Okay, pretty Oma. Okay, so uh, pretty woman. So that that was what's quite difficult. Looks absurd for the grandson, but she often told us the games she used to play as a child. Okay, so the tradition. What the tradition students when you start narrating something in front of home, the grandparents they start giving, they start talking, they start sharing their experience that had happened in their old days. That seemed quite absurd and undignified on her part and we treated it like the fables of the prophets she used to tell to us. Okay, that seems quite absurd. That looks very different, undignified. Okay, that means really does not exist. Okay, absurd and undignified on her part. We treat it like fables, like jokes. Okay, fables of prophets, like Aladdin ka chirag is a joke. But not a joke exactly, it's a fables. Okay, and prophets and that happening in the those Arabian tales. Okay, so similarly here like jokes as if she's saying something that happened in the past, something uh, what um, making of her mind. It's not real. That was the thought of the grandson. But what was the grandmother narrating that everything was real. Everything was real. Okay, later on the grandson understood. So now he is describing how was grandmother uh, looking. She had always been short and fat. Okay, short and fat and slightly bent. Why bent? Due to old age. Due to old age, slightly bent. Her face was crisscross, wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere. Okay, crisscross, wrinkle running from everywhere to everywhere means when someone is old age the skin is hanging shabby looking means shabby means like hanging skin okay dirty when uh, it looks like very dirty okay when uh, skin is hanging the each lines and remarks imprints are visible okay hanging skin the same was here the crisscross was visible from here to here the lines was visible everything was visible there no, we were certain uh, she had always been as we had known her. Means the narrator, the writer is telling that from the day I know her, she is same, there is no change in her. Okay, old, so trivial that she could not have grown older. Means she has reached the so much stage of old, she cannot grow to older. Okay, and had stayed at the same age for 20 years in the particular age for 20 years she cannot grow or become older she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful okay she was never been pretty means she is accepting that she is not pretty but she is beautiful okay everything is near us around us looks beautiful and she hobbled about the house in spotless white with the one hand resting on her waist to balance the stoop 
Okay, so one hand, so students, you can understand when you lift bucket in one hand and another hand automatically make yourself body bend and you start try to balance your body and walk. Similarly, due to old age, she was having, she how was there? She hobbled the house, means she used to uh, slowly, slowly like, uh, okay, uh, one leg up and down, um, walking slowly and she was moving all around in the house holding the beads of rosary, we say mala in Hindi and uh, they just do bits of rosary. They just pray to God holding to the, uh, uh, connect to the God holding the bits of rosary. Okay. And how one hand uh, in spotless white, one hand on the bits of rosary, one hand with the bits of rosary and what happened and uh, one hand on the, one hand to balance us to, to make her walk properly. The other telling the bits of rosary. Her silver lock that she was wearing, the girls have the lock on the head, the plug that was there, she locks were shattered untidily, means it has opened. Other telling, uh, sorry, her untidily over pale face, means due to age, due to age, that face does not has glow. So that's why it has become pale, die like dial means when there's no living no charm no beauty means what means a beauty i'm not talking about that uh, what poet is describing the beauty here that the face beauty okay is not there puckered face the sunken face okay her lips uh, her lips constantly mo moved in inaudible prayer continuously he, she was praying yes she was beautiful yes she was beautiful the poet the writer the author Claim, yes, she is beautiful. Okay, students. So you can understand if the writer, if the narrator, he's claiming, yes, she is beautiful. Okay, she is beautiful. This is the claim done by the writer here. She was like, here the, another comparison is done, students. What is the comparison? Try to understand. She was like the winter landscape in the mountain. An expansion of pure white serenity, breathing peace, and containment. So here the comparison is done. White landscape of mountain. You might have seen students, the mountain with the white. White, white means this with the covered with snow. Okay. There's no pin drop or any, as we say, pin drop silence, total silence, even pin will fall down. The, this can be heard, pin drop silence. Similarly, the beauty is white color, snow has been covered over the mountain. And due to his is it like she is there what spotless white shadi the similarly the winter landscape with the mountain covered looks very beautiful and an expansion of pure white serenity the scenic the peaceful see when what happened who goes to mountain who connects them them to the god okay in the himalayans we do go and chant to the god similarly in the higher place we try to connect to the god similarly here she has been connected same way Okay, landscape of the mountain, as if in the mountain, Shamun is doing some worship and connecting to the God. An expansion of pure, pure means uh, pure white serenity, breathing peace and content. And in her each breath, there is some containment, as if some if that what praying is going on, prayer is going on, and she is directly connecting towards the Lord and God. You can see. So this is the beauty of her has been compared here. Okay, an expansion of pure white means she's expanding, she's growing, or she's connecting directly with the God. Okay, students, I hope you're able to understand the above part. The students who are coming live, you, I hope you're able to understand. Just write it down. Yes, whatever I have explained, you have understood. Okay, let me see how many of you, are, what you're replying, even if there's any doubt. Yeah, yes, Rowan, very good. Yes, Rak is very good. Yes, Dimple, very nice. Yeah, everyone understood. Nice. Thank you, students. If you have any doubt, you can write it down. Okay. Okay, someone is writing something. Let me see. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 students. Here, the expansion of pure white serenity. I have already given the meaning in the last class also. And this is the part what we can see is connecting the peace, means pure. As the purity is there, pure here, refer here, students, that purity that grandmother have in her, that pure, she's connecting, she's praying to the God. Okay, same purity, what is, means uh, she is there connecting, describing about her. Okay, breathing peace and contentment. Okay, I hope that you have, I have explained you if 
there is any doubt students you can write it down in my chat box and you can directly whatsapp me and definitely i'll connect to you i'll help you out if there is any doubt more analytically i'll explain you okay students let's move to the next paragraph yeah my grandmother and i were good friends now coming to the phases explaining see students started about the beginning how the beginning was beginning the writer started opening the character describing about the grandmother because the chapter is about the grandmother then about the grandfather and his belief about the grandmother now describing the character of grandmother so, so you can understand how he's bringing now he's connecting with the grandmother then he's describing that my grandmother i were good friends my parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together okay so what happened initial days of life see students i can break this chapter into three parts first part early life second part turning point and third part when the writer is going for higher studies and in this different parts of the chapter what is happening when he is going for beginning of the life or the early life when in the early life narrator is busy with grandmother so you are learning about the early life how the grandmother how the grandson spending his early life with his grandmother okay so who was the friend of the grandmother grandson grandmother was a friend okay my parents left him what why was the reason the parents left him because they shifted to city they settled there and we were constantly together when you are together with someone you spend good bad all the time with him or her similarly the good times the childhood times the learning cultured and background everything was learned by the uh, grandmother helped the son to learn okay so what happened how did she make him uh, learn we'll see here she used to wake me up in the morning she refers that grandmother was making him up in the early morning okay uh, up in the morning get me ready for school she was making him ready for the school okay and she said a morning prayer in monotonous sing song while she bathed and dressed me in a hope that i would listen and get to know it by heart so students see the, another teaching of grandmother see i'll make you give a thing to mug up it's very difficult to mug up but when you love something when you love to listen music automatically you it remain in your brain the grandmother daily daily monotonously she starts singing and this teaching of her make him to remember the prayer he if in he is not interested okay i listened what is saying i listened because i loved her voice see there is some reason for listening and this is this made him to enjoy okay but never bother to learn but never bother to learn but automatically this made him the system made him to remember the music then she worked what happened next uh, then she would fetch my wooden slate which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk she, okay she will wash that she'll make it ready and uh, the preparation before going to the school in italy uh, in tinny earth and ink pot a red pen tie them in, in all in a bundle and hand it to me when she prepare all the stuffs keep it ready and then hand over it to the boy it to the boy okay after breakfast of thick stale chapati with a little butter and sugar spread on it we went to school she carried several stale chapatis with her for the village dogs okay so what happens is another activity of the grandmother It's helping her helping him in preparing with the uh, way to learn educational education that what we get it in the basic the students see when you are in the basic days means basic this early life whatever one want to make the child learn child will learn similarly uh, grandmother did not force the child to learn she created the environment where child will learn she created the environment second she is helping him with the studies third they eating the breakfast and going uh, to where to school and collecting the food being kind hearted lady helping food giving food to animal so this is all about the character we can add it uh, learning knowing with the by the time in the explanation of the chapter okay students so <laughs> i hope you all of you are able to understand till here what i have explained here okay uh, my grand yeah 
my grandmother always went to school next phase I, if any doubt students live here can ask them and message me right now i can explain but when it will be uploaded yes students when it will be uploaded when all students will be getting my video don't forget don't forget to share don't forget to share like my videos because in the next class when i'll be uploading you can get it so in here what is happening here students my grandmother was always went to school so she is a companion going to school with me because the reason why she is going because the school was attached to the temple the school was attached to the, to the temple the priest taught us the alphabet and the morning prayer what was going on in the school the alphabets and morning prayer so this was her interest morning prayer while the children sat in the row on either side of the veranda sat singing the alphabet or the prayer in the chorus my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures okay my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures see the grandmother is a, a religious lady from the beginning we can see how with her activities daily activities skill using word rosary uh, helping the boy to learn means she's creating the environment to learn the mantras prayers creating then going to the uh, word temple and reading scriptures okay you can see the activity of lady from the very beginning until the end you will mark it down and you can describe and justify the question long question is grandmother a religious lady okay i'm declaring it from the beginning okay this is a compulsion question long question when we had both finished we would walk back together so what happened they will attend the class your grandmother is with scriptures students uh, kid with the teacher and the, the, this time the village dog would meet us at the temple door what happened this time we will be there at the door in, in the temple door village dog okay they followed us to walk uh, our home growling and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them what happened growling and fighting for the chapatis and threw the enjoy feeding the animal and the animal joined till where till the home this was the activity of grandmother and grandson when they were in the village when they were in the village before the turning point before the turning point so students i hope whatever i have explained you today whatever i have explained you today if there is any doubt if there is any doubt okay uh, just write it down in the chat box i'll help you out clearing your doubts i'll help you out yeah someone is writing something yeah students uh, followed to our home growling and so when they are there dogs together making the noise shouting making ah oh, that that we are the humans they they make it growl that sound and fighting with each other when food is thrown towards them jump together and they eat it and that fight you can understand how the pleasure the animal uh, spending time with the animal this lady might be getting and how he's uh, she's creating the environment to learn for the son or grandson a grandson is learning the same activity to feed animal to show animal love kind that the thing she is giving to him she is not making him do this but she is doing and making him making them learn see the difference to see the difference how this lady is action make means action is uh, what um, is more than the words he is doing and making them learn so this is all about the first part early life of about the author spend with grandmother next class we will go to the turning point part 2 a video turning point then uh, the uh, what spending time and we'll go for the concluding our chapter okay students i hope you have enjoyed today's class if there is any doubt any problem suggestions anything write it down to me i'll help you out and i'll come back to you okay students and i hope uh, you have understood uh, my explanation if there is any doubt you can write it down and before leaving before leaving taking sign out from you students i hope you have understood enjoyed my class and i would like to request you don't forget to subscribe my channel okay don't forget to subscribe i'm just moving the uh, what my arrow there and same below the video the subscribe button is there 
and do press subscribe if you're new user and do what do just do the like my video and press the bell icon button whenever i'll be uploading you can get my full video okay thank you students bye bye i'm taking sign out from you thank you bye bye